Fala, fiotes! Eu sou o Kalil e você está no Gamer Liu Games. Seja muito bem-vindo, obrigado por vir, audiência, pelo carinho, obrigado por tudo, cara. Seguinte, hoje nós vamos... Re... Faz tempo que a gente não faz nenhum react aqui no canal, né? A gente não reage a nada. Mas, cara, hoje é especial. Saiu aí um overview, né, de gameplay, um trailer, né? De Atomic Heart, um game que vai sair agora dia 21 desse mês, se eu não estiver enganado. E que vai ser Day One no Game Pass, mano. Eu tô muito ansioso pra jogar. Ele vai estar tá no Playstation 5, vai estar tá no Xbox, vai estar tá no PC. Mas eu vou jogar pelo Game Pass porque é free, né, mano? Eu acho que todo mundo que tem né, a assinatura, obviamente, vai jogar o game. Ao que parece é uma loucura de robôs e eu tô bem curioso pra saber mais sobre ele. E dessa vez a gente tem aí quase 9 minutos de overview explicando o universo de Atomic Heart. E vai ser muito legal poder reagir e ver isso junto de vocês. Deixa o seu like, compartilha o conteúdo, tamo junto. Beijo no coração, bora lá. Vamos ver qual é que é, mano. Welcome to the mad, uchronic world of Atomic Heart, a new cinematic and explosive action RPG. Discover details of the amazing and intricate world created for the game. Atomic Heart's setting is a fictional USSR of 1955, in a top-secret military base built to manufacture robots, known as Facility 3826. The mastermind behind this facility is a brilliant scientist by the name of Dmitry Sechenov, who pioneered a special liquid substance called polymer in 1936. Expanding on the formidable qualities of his invention, Sechenov managed to launch a huge neural network of AI assistant robots called Collective. This allowed robots to free the people from manual labor in favor of arts and science. Everything goes smoothly until 1955, when authorities plan to launch Collective 2.0 and introduce a new thought device allowing humans to control the network and issue commands with just the power of thought. Unfortunately, the launch of Collective 2.0 is sabotaged, leading to a technological nightmare. Robots attack humans, with hundreds of casualties among facility staff. You are Major P3, an elite soldier from the intelligence service. You are sent by Sechenov to investigate the circumstances of the incident and restore the neural network. Your mission will take you across the scientific testing grounds of Facility 3826, which spreads like a fungal network throughout the Kazakh mountains. As you roam the base, you'll come across expansive scientific complexes, mysterious laboratories, above ground civilian infrastructure, and discover bizarre underground tunnels packed with spatial puzzles that even the most experienced players will enjoy. One thing you can expect is to never know what to expect, be it horror, arenas, puzzles, or a plot twist with cinematic cutscenes. Put pressure on this wound. They try to save you. Why the hell should I believe any of this? You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. You're going to Chella May. The hell are you? I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. There's blood all over the place. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? I never expected to see Victor like this, in these circumstances. Human casualties. And he has to be stopped! Poor bastards. What the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? But you won't be traveling alone. Here is Charles, 
a polymer AI integrated into your experimental power glove. Charles is a man. by the book sidekick that will provide you with new objectives, story, and character details. It will also provide tidbits on Atomic Heart's looming secrets and even divulge a bit about your shrouded history. Charles doesn't only have a teacherly personality capable of mid mission banter, it can also scan the area, hack robots, and other equipment at will. Through its power, you'll even be able to deploy energy shields and wield electric, freezing, and telekinetic powers. Someone. Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Communicating with other characters, it's entirely up to you to decide what you will say in dialogue, allowing you to enjoy an array of interesting responses. You will have a vast territory to explore. Facility 3826 includes five giant complexes with more than 25 hours of gameplay to beat. Traveling around the world is easier with the aero train or any other mode of transportation still working, but you'll have to stay on your toes since any action may attract unwanted attention and result in your death. As you fight your way out of this nightmare, keep in mind that all robots are interconnected and controlled by the collective's AI. This is both their strength and Achilles heel. Take control of the collective systems, network control terminals, cameras, hawks, volants, and repair hives that restore destroyed hubs of the collective, defeated robots, and other elements of the network. But robots won't be your only enemies. Scientific plants, sprouts, can find a body and mutate. Mutants do significant damage in battle. There are also Qushas, who are truly formidable opponents. But what makes them special is that they can summon sprouts. And you'll have a big problem unless you can keep the two of them from fusing with each other. Caramba. To fight dangerous robots and mutated creatures, lay your hands on a cutting-edge arsenal, ranging from a sharp axe for melee oh. combat to a modified electric rifle or a cool grenade launcher. Got em. Melee weapons will help you accumulate energy that can then be spent with your energy weapons. When it comes to your firearms, however, you'll have to scour through the environment to find bullets or craft them yourself using crafting machine Nora and add elemental effects to them. Your fighting style will depend on your choice of weapons and skills. Combine firearms and energy or melee weapons as well as glove abilities and use them wisely. Man, que absurdo. Install additional upgrades for your weapons, such as an extended mag, a collimator scope, an upgraded barrel case, a tactical grip, or a silencer. Search every piece of furniture, computer, and corpse to collect materials that can be used to modify your arsenal. Become unstoppable. Meu amigo. Finally. Whether you're a hardcore player in need of a frenzied, gore-filled challenge, or an adventurer eager to explore this unique world full of crazy, gripping narratives, Atomic Heart can be molded to your ideal experience. Do you have what it takes to adapt and tame unfamiliar enemies and environments? And can you handle the shocking truth coming your way? Shine light on deceit and unearth what Atomic Heart really is. Just know one thing, in Atomic Heart, the price of truth will be paid in blood, as the utopian dream is not what it seems. Me Atomic Heart me releases me February 21st on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series, Xbox One, and PC. Pre-order it now! É, meus caras, vai estar tá disponível aí para todo mundo poder jogar. 
Cara, eu fiquei encantado. Mano, eu, eu tinha visto né, todos os trailers que soltaram até hoje e tal, de boa. Mas aqui o cara deu realmente um overview, né? Ele explicou tudo o que é esse universo. E o primeiro choque de realidade aqui que eu tomei foi a questão de saber que não vai se passar no futuro como eu imaginava. Pô, você vê uma, um, um bagulho desse, cheio de robô que você controla. Uma, você imagina que é no futuro. Mas não, mano. Acontece em 1955, cara. Um maluco lá, inteligente, descobre uma, você viu, uma água muito louca, lá um líquido muito louco. Através disso ele consegue fazer mudanças no mundo inteiro em relação à tecnologia. E aí em 1955, quando ele vai fazer a versão 2.0 de um projeto, né, os projetos robóticos e tal, dá merda, obviamente, o robô ataca todo mundo e aí vira essa lambança que a gente tá vendo. Cara, esse jogo promete e já se tornou aí para muita gente, né? Um dos hypes de fevereiro, cara. Na minha opinião, na minha opinião, eu vou trazer esse game aqui pro canal, vou trazer ele, obviamente, em lives aqui. E é aquele tipo de jogo que eu acho que eu não vou conseguir parar enquanto não terminar, mano. Possivelmente vão ser lives diárias, né? A gente vai quebrar o cronograma de live para fazer lives diárias. Até que zere, né? E eu conto com a sua presença aqui comigo, meu. Caramba, realmente vai ser um jogo muito bom. Fica ligado que ele vai sair para a geração atual, a geração passada e PC, né? Como vocês viram anunciar aqui no final. E eu quero entender mais dessa história junto de vocês, mano. Dia 21, nós temos um compromisso mais que marcado aqui no canal com Atomic Hearts, beleza? Comenta aí como é que tá o seu hype, se você pretende jogar, não vai jogar, se vai assistir aqui com a gente. Pô, você sabe que é muito bem recebido, vai ser muito bem-vindo, né? Poder ter aí a sua companhia durante o nosso gameplay. Mesmo que você vá jogar, vem aqui ver também a nossa reação, que é sempre legal nesse né, tipo de coisa. Galera, beijo no coração, é nóis, até a próxima. Tchau, tchau.